Yeah, the James Webb telescope spotted it just outside of our solar system. For months, the scientific community buzzed with anticipation, eyes collectively fixed on the heavens, awaiting the moment when the James Webb Space Telescope would unveil its most ambitious visual capture yet. And then it happened. An image released in pristine clarity, not of a single star or planet, but of a colossal previously unseen structure embedded deep within the cosmic web. Suspended at the far reaches of observable space, the immense construct, spanning millions of light years, emerged not as a faint suggestion, but as a fully articulated structure shaped by the gravitational architecture of the universe itself. It was a moment that transformed theory into vision, a breakthrough that shattered the boundary between imagination and confirmation. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The James Webb Space Telescope, perched a million miles from Earth and veiled in the frigid stillness of the second Lagrange point, opened its golden eye to a region of the cosmos long thought to be obscured by dust and distance. Within that pocket of ancient space, it captured the first real image of an enormous filamentary structure, a part of the grand cosmic web, more massive than anything ever imaged directly. These filaments, previously inferred through simulations and mathematical models, were believed to be the highways of the universe, connecting clusters of galaxies and funneling matter across unimaginable scales. Now one of them stood exposed, no longer a ghost in our equations, but a radiant path of matter stretching across the darkness like an illuminated bridge between the deepest wells of time. The image, exquisite in detail, was a latticework of glowing gas and distant galaxies strung like pearls along a delicate filament. What made this image so groundbreaking wasn't just the visual proof of a known phenomenon, but the depth and resolution at which it was revealed. What once was smudged in static or represented by models in supercomputers now shimmered before humanity's eyes, bathed in infrared light, captured by the unprecedented sensitivity of Webb's instruments. The structure was not just a path of stars or a line of scattered galaxies. It was a full-fledged filament in the cosmic web, the skeleton upon which the visible universe is draped. This structure had existed for billions of years, a silent artery feeding and shaping galaxies since the dawn of time. And yet, until Webb, no telescope had the power to image it directly. What Webb revealed was not merely a cosmic oddity, but a foundational element of the universe's design. It provided an almost mythological sight, a literal thread of creation, ancient and incomprehensibly vast, draped across the canvas of space. The glowing clouds of intergalactic gas, the halos of dark matter, and the clustered galaxies formed a pattern so symmetrical and extensive that it pushed the limits of our cosmic understanding. It was as if the universe had paused its ceaseless expansion just long enough to allow us this glimpse. Scientists pored over the data with a reverence usually reserved for sacred texts. The structure's temperature gradients, its spectral signatures, and gravitational influence offered answers to long-standing questions about how galaxies form and migrate over cosmic time. The alignment of galaxies within the structure suggested that gravity had sculpted this filament over eons, drawing smaller galactic bodies inward like water spiraling toward the center of a whirlpool. The image showed us not only where galaxies live, but how they travel and evolve, what celestial highways they follow, what forces drive their destinies. The sheer size of the structure was staggering. It dwarfed any single galaxy or cluster, extending across hundreds of millions of light years a bridge of matter connecting two massive clusters on opposite sides of the cosmic void. It was an architectural marvel of nature, a product of gravitational forces acting over the entire age of the universe. This was not a random scattering of cosmic dust and gas. It was a deliberate, coherent form. Its geometry spoke of laws deeper than gravity alone, hinting at the interplay between dark matter, dark energy, and baryonic matter in a way that had never been observed in such harmony. As observers traced the filament from one end to the other, they noticed embedded within its smaller satellite filaments and halos, like tributaries to a great river. These secondary structures glowed faintly, revealing their own miniature galaxies in the making. It was a fractal of cosmic engineering, structures within structures, each shaped by the great unseen currents of the cosmos. The implication was clear. This was not merely a connective thread, but a fertile plane of creation. 
where galaxies condensed, collided, and merged in a dance choreographed by invisible forces. What set this apart from previous deep field images was not just the quality of the data, but the sense of scale and unity it provided. The universe, so often perceived as a chaotic expanse of drifting galaxies, revealed itself here as meticulously structured, as if following a blueprint. Every swirl of gas, every glowing point of light seemed to have its place. It was as though the cosmos had left behind a map, etched in infrared, for humanity to read. The implications of this image ripple far beyond cosmology. To directly image a cosmic filament is to capture the connective tissue of the universe. These are the highways along which matter flows, the scaffolding that guides the evolution of everything we see. The presence of dark matter previously invisible could now be inferred more precisely by the movement and structure of these galactic threads. This opened the possibility of mapping the dark matter distribution across space with greater confidence than ever before. Each thread's gravitational pull could be matched with visible data, giving researchers a three-dimensional view of the universe's hidden anatomy. Furthermore, this structure provided crucial insights into the earliest moments of galaxy formation. By peering back over 10 billion years into the past, Webb allowed scientists to observe how galaxies were funneled and compressed within filaments, how they acquired mass, and how interactions within these threads led to the birth of quasars and massive black holes. It was a laboratory suspended in the void, frozen in time yet telling stories of violence and creation on a galactic scale. Beyond the immediate scientific insights, the image stirred a profound existential response. To see something so vast, so ancient, and so intricately constructed was to be confronted with the sublime. It was not just a structure of astrophysical importance, it was a monument of time, a reminder of how far humanity had come. From cave paintings to space telescopes, the journey to this moment marked a collective ascent, not just technologically, but philosophically. For the first time, humanity wasn't just looking at stars or galaxies, it was looking at the architecture of the universe itself. This structure, with its spiderweb filaments and gleaming nodes, was also a mirror. It reflected our own existence, composed as we are of stardust and space-time, woven into the fabric of a universe that now seemed less like a random expanse and more like a vast, interconnected organism. The very atoms in our bodies once moved along these ancient filaments, before coalescing into suns and planets and eventually, sentient life capable of building a telescope to look back and see its origins. The web image didn't just answer questions. It raised new ones with every curve and cluster. How universal is this filamentary structure? How many such threads weave the fabric of our cosmos? Are there larger structures still unseen that connect the known filaments into even grander forms? Do the filaments influence the cosmic microwave background or are they influenced by it? Each answer opened 10 new mysteries, each discovery illuminating a deeper unknown. What's more, the detection of such a structure in infrared light hinted at unseen layers in other wavelengths. Could radio telescopes peer into the same region and uncover emissions from neutral hydrogen clouds? Could X-ray observatories find traces of hot intergalactic plasma threading through the same filament? Webb had opened the door to multispectral, multidimensional cosmic cartography. The role of dark matter, still one of cosmology's most elusive components, took on a more tangible form. Within the filament, gravitational lensing effects reveal distortions in the shapes of background galaxies, allowing researchers to infer the dark matter's invisible mass. These subtle warps confirmed that much of the filament's structure was held together by this unseen substance. For the first time, the outline of the dark universe was traced with such clarity that it began to feel almost accessible no longer a ghost, but a shadow cast on the walls of cosmic eternity. Equally significant was how this filament bridged two massive galaxy clusters, providing direct evidence of the cosmic web flow hypothesis. This theory posits that galaxies are not randomly moving through space, but are being actively drawn along gravitational channels formed by dark matter and cooled gas. Webb's image offered visual proof of this mechanism, showing galaxies elongated in the direction of the filament, their motion aligned as if being pulled along a track. Each pixel of the image contained epochs. The redshift values indicated that some galaxies within the filament dated back over 12 billion years, nearly to the edge of the observable universe. These were not just ancient galaxies, 
They were among the first to ever form, shaped and directed by the very filament Webb had now revealed. It was like looking at the original blueprint of cosmic civilization, tracing the birthplaces of stars, the roots of everything luminous in the universe. What made the moment even more potent was its quiet magnitude. There was no explosion, no supernova, no cataclysmic event, just a picture, silent and majestic, that changed our perspective forever. In that stillness was the grandeur of everything. The structure didn't shout its importance, it simply was, stretching across the night with the patience of eons. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on what the James Webb image of structure reveals? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.